I just got a grouse. <laughs> Where is he? He's right around here somewhere. Oh, here he is. Let me get my gun put away. Look at that. I just, just sat down. I didn't even get time to put all my stuff on. This guy come poking right around from my, my side over here. I'll, uh, I gotta get back out of here. I just got my, I just sat down. I didn't even got to get a chance to put all my stuff on and get everything set up. I just had my GoPro out. I had my scope cam too. So I, there's a, right back kind of over here, there's a big pile of brush. I heard something. I look, I thought it was a squirrel. It was this guy, I seen his head poking around, so I, I was as quiet as I could be, got everything set up, and I waited and got a shot. Let's go cook him. All right, so we got our grouse breast here. It's just one breast. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna flay it open so it's kind of somewhat thin. So I'm going to roll it up here in a minute. That'll work. It's just a big, flat, thin piece now. You can see, nice and thin. Now I'm going to take uh, Got actually here it is. So got a little bit of garlic paste. I don't know how potent this stuff is, so I'm gonna put just a little bit on there. I just want the garlic flavor. I got mozzarella cheese. Some Alfredo sauce. I'm not adding a lot of this stuff. I don't want to overdo the the flavor of the grouse. And a little onion powder. And what the hell. Sweet baby rays. Now I'm going to take it and roll it so all that stuff is hopefully inside. It actually kind of worked. It's like a little, little pizza roll looking thing. Now, this is a piece of uh, thick cut bacon. I'm going to roll, wrap that around this whole thing. The bacon should keep it, uh, like the fats from the bacon should keep it kind of moist. I just found a, just a piece of a pine branch. I whittled and burnt the end so it wasn't so sticky. I'm going to poke through this whole thing and hold the bacon to the to the grouse breast. That is a bacon wrap grouse breast. Now I'm gonna go put it on the fire. I have no idea how long it's gonna take to cook. Uh, try to keep the meat up off the fire a little bit so you the actual heat from the fire is cooking it, not the flames. You don't want to burn it and cook it too quick. Get kind of tough. We'll see though. Uh, I'm guessing 
15 or 20 minutes, it'd probably be good to go. And then uh, we will see how it tastes. I imagine it's gonna be pretty good. It can't be bad. There's no way. thing oh yeah it's done let's see focus all the cheese is still in there I have a feeling that's gonna be pretty good all that meat's still juicy as hell too that bacon really helped out hello you can see all the cheese still on I don't know if you can see it or not all the cheese still on top got your fly Let's try it. Man, I can taste that garlic. That really adds to it. This is really good. Kind of just thought of the idea with the stuff I have here. I'm glad I did. <laughs> this is good. This is really good. I would make it again. Damn. I only cooked one of the breasts because I wanted to save one for my wife. She's never had it before. Put all that cheese in there. I love cheese. And my wife's never had grouse before, so I, I saved one of the breasts. I'm going to cook it for her uh, a couple days from now, two days from now when she picks me up. I have no problem eating this one. Damn. It's my last bite right here. I'm gonna finish this bite. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh. If you ever get a chance to try grouse, I highly recommend it, regardless of how you cook it. It's just a good meat in general. But I recommend getting a little crazy and making new things and trying different stuff. I do. And I enjoy every bit of it. So. All right, hope you enjoyed and hopefully I see you again.